We begin with the Zimbabwe's Herald with a story caption, Africa escalate anti-sanctions crusade. The Pan-African Parliament, PAP, which is sitting in South Africa, has debated a motion calling for the removal of illegal sanctions imposed on Zimbabwe by Western countries, with its members saying the country is implementing reforms under the new dispensation. Kenya's Daily Nation carried a story for appeal as heavy floods wash away car in P2. Four people have perished after the vehicle they were traveling was washed away as it crossed a flooded seasonal river in Kitui County. The Standard carried a story, a country for all people, and another says, Uhuru, I am not interested in power after 2022. President Uhuru Kenyatta has said, the building bridges initiated BBI is not about creating new positions to help him extend his stay in power. A story in Nigeria's vanguard says, Nigeria in minimum wage strike frenzy. For a while, the nation has been on the edge of a planned nationwide by organized labor to force implementation of the 30,000 Naira new national minimum wage. The planned strike is being anchored by the Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC, and its Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC's counterpart. We end with Daily Monitor is a story, Urban Crime, How City Gangs Operate. Another story says, Sudan declares permanent ceasefire as peace talks hit snag. Sudan announced Wednesday a permanent ceasefire in the country's war zones even as a key rebel group threatened to pull out of peace turf, accusing government forces of bombing its territory.